impetus to begin the novena was when we heard that Blake was diagnosed with fourth stage cancer. Blake and Lauren and their children are beloved members of our faith community here at St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. We were all greatly affected by the news of Blake's health condition and the extent of his cancer. The novena just presented itself as a perfect way for our faith community to support them through our prayers and let them know they're not alone. In the novena tonight, you get an example of the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist, plus the first degree relic of blessed Michael McGivney. Just having that presence here, I think it makes Father McGivney real to us. Father McGivney's influence has been incredible. First, because the Knights have demonstrated in many, many ways their contributions and their work to make sure we take care of our parishioners and help those who are in need. They've been very instrumental with Novena in helping get the word out, and they've been here every evening as an honor guard for the relic of Blessed McGivney. The power of prayer, I teach my students, they're so powerful. I'm looking forward to talking to the kids next year about Father Michael McGivney and continuing to pray and ask for his intercession for our needs at church and for the Southern family. Father putting all these things together where we are supporting the Knights, pursuing the canonization of Michael McGivney, a novena for a family in the parish is a combination of everything that makes this church beautiful. We have had such an enormous amount of support, both from the Knights of Columbus and from the parish. Knowing that Father McGivney has been interceding for people already gives us an enormous amount of hope. Every time I walk into that parish hall and see so many people in the sanctuary praying to help my husband, it's amazing. It makes us both feel so loved, so cared for.